Hello. It's Thanksgiving season and I know we probably think there hasn't been a whole lot to be thankful for this year, but I think it's important to express gratitude for the small things. So if you don't mind, I'm going to take a few minutes to write my thank you notes to 2020. Oh, thank you 2020 for helping me realize that it is possible to watch Netflix, even if I do fall asleep occasionally. And 2020, I most certainly need to thank you for making toilet paper a luxury and a rare commodity all at the same time. And 2020, thank you for letting me know that I can be murdered by a hornet. And oh, almost certainly 2020, thank you for putting arrows on the grocery store aisles. But I wonder if I'm the only one that ever sees them. And thank you 2020 for making brushing my teeth no longer other people's problem. And thank you 2020 for making dress pants and in fact, any pants really unnecessary and optional. In 2020, thank you for making the word Zoom somehow feel slow. Yes, 2020 has been a time for us. It's been anxious. It's created stress. It's created kind of, I don't know, a feel of insecurity at times. You don't have your friends around and others, and I'm sure it makes you feel sad. Do you feel sad? Well, you don't have to feel sad about 2020. It's only a year. It's only a number. And 2020 will soon be over. Yeah, as you can see, we like to have a little fun here at Hartman, especially in a year when everything else has felt so heavy. But in all seriousness, during this Thanksgiving season, there is so much to be thankful for, even in these challenging times. As I reflect on the past year, I can't help but to think of the joy and expression on the faces of our colleagues that welcomed a new child to the world. I also think of the smiles and the memories of our colleagues and friends that we lost during the past year. We are so grateful for all they brought to our Heartland family, and they shall not be forgotten. I am especially thankful for the caring and thoughtful people here at Heartland, and so appreciative that I work at a college with awesome faculty and staff that are committed to the success of students above everything else. And I'm thankful for the acts of respect, graciousness, and kindness that individuals showed others during the challenging times of the pandemic, the social unease, and through the recent cyber attack. During this time of giving, I encourage you to consider helping someone else less fortunate and those in need of a word of comfort and encouragement during these difficult days. I hope that during the Thanksgiving break, you all take time to relax and reflect upon just how fortunate we all are to have what we do. May your Thanksgiving day be filled with smiles, hugs, and laughter among family members, loved ones, and of course, friends. Thank you, Heartland family.